Hello dear students my name is Akshita today we are going to discuss about the lesson digital learning from first year btech english jntu h regulation 22 this lesson is about how online teaching impacted education sector in pandemic and how can we utilize online teaching tools and procedure in offline or hybrid classrooms authors of this lessons are f hyder alvi management scholar debora hurst associate professor janice thomas professor of organizational analysis martha cleveland ines professor for open digital and distance education from athabasca university this lesson narrated by above mentioned professionals to discuss the changes that the covid-19 pandemic brought about in our education system Education system completely changed in pandemic time physical and or hybrid classrooms teaching procedures completely switched to online using technology overnight all education institutions made arrangements for online education to fill the gap between the teaching and learning initially teachers bravely took the initiative and prepared online content like recording lessons pdf and ppt for students and uploaded in whatever the way it is possible technology mediated classrooms and online sound same but they are not recorded lessons online content and technology to address students wouldn't address certain needs of learners such as coached and collaborative learning to the student or learner Online education is introduced in the time of pandemic in many of the areas but in Athabasca University online education started 28 years ago in the streams of MBA M nursing and MED There are four aspects of online learning that should stick post pandemic learning to learn online designing online teaching with purpose blending space and time online COVID-19 began the disruption AI artificial intelligence will continue it and the first aspect is learning to learn online the pandemic created one size fit for all type of learners it did not work for all the learners because younger students require supervision promoting socialization and content delivery by teacher However at Athabasca University learners can choose their time of choice for collaborative learning there are some common inequalities that we need to address in order to avoid obstacles for online education such as financial problems and access to internet at underdeveloped areas emergency online education used blunt edged instruments ignoring the student and program differences pandemic stakes away whether it is online or offline it is important to make the students to learn and prepare and the second aspect comes designing online teaching with purpose quality teaching must incorporate active engaging tasks and roles for individual students whether it is online or offline education Teaching content should be designed and prepared keeping it student oriented but not course oriented and also should incorporate collaborative learning designing course is not a simple task a professional teachers and a course developer should work vigorously for best results it will take months to create effective course not the weeks course materials are painstakingly long including everything that classroom teacher says in the physical classroom Online education system do not benefited all type students because online teaching delivery was not tailor made for all type of students technological tools should combine with independent and joint working opportunities to physical classrooms as well as to faster the best education to the students blending space and time online synchronous learning Synchronous learning is replicating the real time classroom that is starts and ends at a predetermined time by the institution asynchronous learning asynchronous learning is nothing but working independently in convenient time 
at Athabasca, students come together in time and space through blended collaborative synchronous and asynchronous online learning. This is different from traditional undergraduate classrooms where students absorb material on a fixed schedule. More flexible teaching allows students to receive instructor support when they need it. And the last aspect comes COVID-19 began the disruption. AI will continue it. Pandemic made instructors to come up with more innovative methods to get the best results in terms of learning and assessments. At Athabasca, a virtual cooperative program allowed us to improve students' learning in significant way, where our students assigned a stimulated work in a pay structure, respective of their location, they were able to practice problem solving, conflict resolution, ethical reasoning and leadership while working on an assigned project. Students receive detailed feedback from AI coach on which students can work again to improve their competency. Research suggests that adopting online and AI support for education field will result in tremendous outcomes in the field of learning. Now, it is a time to find a way to use and capitalize on COVID-19 initiated technology enable learning to incorporate with physical classroom or hybrid classrooms for brighter outcomes for the students.